Good evening, it's March 23rd, and welcome to this SCW News Digest. Former Stockton Mayor Anthony Silva was arrested yet again, this time facing weapons charges. Silva, who is also facing separate charges in both San Joaquin and Amador counties, was arrested overnight. The charges in Amador County stem from his alleged recording of a strip poker game with minors at a summer camp. Now in San Joaquin County, his charges are mainly from an alleged embezzlement case while he worked at a Stockton Kids Club. Before he was arrested in Amador County at the Children's Summer Camp, it was uncovered that a gun registered to Silva's name was used in a murder. It's unclear if these charges today have to re are a result of those. Now it also remains unclear as to which agency arrested him last night, but some have speculated that it was the FBI. Silva was released from jail and his embezzlement trial is set to begin in April. There is no word yet on when these most recent charges will be brought to court. Three juveniles are in jail this evening after they made threats to quote, shoot Western Ranch High School. A threat was made on social media, that, and it said that more than one shooter would not stop shooting at people today at Western Ranch High School until they say bodies are on the floor. The threat also said that the shooters were aware of lockdown procedures. All three suspects were only identified by the St. Manteca Unified School District as two 14-year-olds, one of which was a student, and a 15-year-old former student. They were all arrested overnight at their homes by the Stockton Police Department. No weapons were located. Black Lives Matter protesters blocked off Interstate 5 in the Golden 1 Center ahead of a Kings game last night. They were protesting the Sacramento Police Department's fatal shooting of a suspect who was allegedly breaking into cars in a neighborhood Sunday evening. Officers on the ground cornered the, him, the suspect into the backyard of what was believed to be the suspect's grandmother's home. He had a cell phone in his hand, which officers mistook for a gun. Officers shot him 20 times, and, di and he died in the backyard. Videos of the shooting were released earlier this week and protesters took to the streets yesterday. The Sacramento Kings said they, they will refund people who could not get in to last night's game as a result. Attendance at last night's game was only about 2,400 people. Protesters also took to the streets today walking to the state capitol again. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. Stay here for daily news from Stockton and have a good weekend.